I'm going to rank every single Left 4 Dead campaign. So this is a tier list. So I'm sure most people know how this goes. D tier is considered the worst, S tier is considered the best, and it goes from left to right. I'm kind of doing this because I've always wanted to make some kind of Left 4 Dead content, but I don't really know what to make for it. I mean, there's not really much you can do, so I thought I may as well give my opinions on the maps. This is obviously very subjective. There is, there's no such thing as objectively good maps. I mean, I guess there's some that are kind of bad. I'll, I'll um, give my hot takes when, when we come to it. Well, maybe it's not hot takes. I don't, I don't know what the general community thinks of the maps, but this is what I think of every single map in Left 4 Dead. So then we have Cold Stream. I would put Cold Stream at probably a C tier. I do actually enjoy playing it, but something about it feels off to me. I don't know why. It's. I think it looks cool. The map looks very cool. But for something about the replayability of it, just it feels like the same experience every time I play it. Like with other maps like No Mercy or Dark Carnival and stuff, it feels like every time you play it, it's a little bit of a different experience. With Cold Stream, I always feel like it's just the same. I can't remember if this has three or four maps. This, this has four maps, yeah, four levels to it. So first one's pretty basic, it's okay. The second one I feel like is just kind of a long straight pathway and it's not very interesting. My favorite one's probably the bridge. I just feel like that one's really fun to speed run. This whole campaign is really fun to speed run. But overall, I just feel like it's a very mediocre map. There's nothing really amazing about it. But it also isn't like a bad map. I would, it's just okay. It's just, you know, it's it's very meh kind of map. Then we have Dead Air. I would put Dead Air at a B tier. Um, I know a lot of people would probably put this A or S, but I think Dead Air is a very good campaign. I like how it looks, but I don't like the finale. I think the finale is super boring. Um, usually I just want to like stop playing at the finale because it's you know just same camping spots it's not that interesting some of the levels i'm not that crazy about like going through the corridors corridors of like the apartments and stuff that's not that interesting to me i think my favorite part of dead air is probably the airport i really like the the um, running finale for that that's really fun but yeah it's it's a very decent campaign it's not like s or eight here but it's definitely like a, it's a solid b then the passing the passing i would probably put Probably at a B tier as well. I think the passing is one of the coolest looking maps in the in, in all of Left 4 Dead. It's very short. I don't know, I just feel like it would have benefited from like having the, the second level split it into two. It's very long and painful and I'm not really fan. I'm not a huge fan of the sewer section, but I do like how it looks. I think it's a very cool and fun map to play on. I don't really like how the finale is the same thing as the, the um, the sacrifice that's kind of lame but i do feel like the pat the the passing finale is actually better than the sacrifice finale blood harvest i'm gonna put blood harvest at a solid a tier um i used to think this was like a c tier but actually i think it's really cool i think visually it's very like it's very like old school feeling but like when i think of left for dead i usually think of blood harvest and no mercy usually the two campaigns i think of it's a very solid campaign. I, I really like the finale. It's a lot of fun. Um, I think every single level in Blood Harvest is very fun. Um, there's no like bad level in it. It's very consistently good throughout. So yeah, it's definitely a solid A tier. Then Crash Course. Um, I think everyone will see this from a mile away. I don't think... I have yet to come... That's not true. I've come across someone who has like Crash Course, but... Come on, this this sucks. This map is pretty bad. There's there's nothing good about it. That's it's it's two levels. Both of the levels look and feel exactly the same. The entire level just it's like this very boring gray streets and it just feels like the same thing every time you play it. It's very very boring. I do not enjoy this campaign. If we had to get rid of any campaign in Left 4 Dead, it would be Crash Course. I know a lot of people think Coldstream is that worst campaign, but at least cold stream visually i think can look kind of cool and i think it has fun sections running sections especially the, the the finale for cold stream i think is a lot of fun the finale for crash course sucks especially if you end up failing you have to go through it all over again the long section just overall i think this campaign is just awful <laughs> it's ass it's not it's not a good campaign 
No Mercy, No Mercy is an S tier. It's just, it is the best Left 4 Dead campaign. Well, Left 4 Dead 1 campaign. It's just a classic. It's always so much fun. There's no real bad section for No Mercy. And I guess the first level is kind of meh. But everything after that is pretty great. I love all of the sections. The finale is super fun. It's one of the best finales besides... Yeah, I'd say it's one of the best finales. It's, it's a lot of fun. Then we have Dark Carnival. I'm going to put this as the best campaign in both Left 4 Dead 2 and Left 4 Dead 1. It is the best Left 4 Dead 2 campaign. And overall, it's my opinion, it is the best campaign. It's just so visually unique. And it's it's just so much... Just all the, the vibe to it is awesome. There's a lot of fun um, running events in it. And there's not much, there's no real issue with the campaign. It can be kind of hard sometimes and annoying. The the finale, actually that's not true. I think the finale to Dark Carnival is kind of boring. Because, you know, you usually just end up camping the, the scaffolding, which is kind of lame. I would say only the finale for Dark Carnival is not that fun. It's very fun the first few times, but afterwards I just feel like you're, you're just, just camping and sniping, which isn't very fun. No Mercy, I think, has a better finale, but overall I think Dark Carnival is just... It's so much fun. I, I'm, I probably played Dark Carnival the most out of any campaign. Well, maybe Dead Center is up there. Then we have Swamp Fever. I'm gonna put Swamp Fever at a solid A tier. I'm gonna put it above Blood Harvest. Both of these I would consider kind of equal to each other. Both are very fun. There's no real issue with either of these campaigns. I really love the finale to Swamp Fever. Visually, I think Swamp Fever is very eerie and kind of creepy feeling, which I really like. I know there's a lot of people who think Swamp Fever is not that fun simply because the water i think they think the setting isn't that interesting which i think the setting is really creepy and cool i like that the water section it's really not that hard to get around which you know you, you're supposed to be using your adrenaline shots when you're in the water swamp fever has a lot of running sections which is probably why i like it so much i love to kind of just speed run through it I also really like how there's a lot of chainsaw spawns and grenade launcher spawns, which just makes it really fun. Yeah, I just really enjoy just kind of rushing through Swamp Fever. Even when you're not rushing, I think the level design is kind of cool. Yeah, it's definitely a very strong A tier. I would even consider it an S tier in some ways, but this is me recording after I edited the whole entire video. I just wanted to add a bit more to Swamp Fever to kind of explain why I think it's so high up on the list. Then we have Hard Rain. Hard Rain is probably, I'm gonna put this at a B tier, I think. Hard Rain is a lot of fun, but it's, the, the second level to Hard Rain is so, oh my god, I've lost so many, you know, games to that second level in Hard Rain. It's, man, it's a brutal campaign. If I'm looking for a challenge, this is very fun. The first two levels are very fun. I feel like after that's very easy and kind of chill. It kind of ruins a lot of, after the, the second level, a lot of the enjoyment kind of goes away. The finale to Hard Rain, I think, is one of the worst finales. It's right there by Crash Course for, if we're going to judge the finales of it. But I do think it's fun. Don't know if I like it more than the passing or not. Yeah, I'm going to put it more than the passing. The passing is too short. And I really don't like the sewer section to this. At least this has, like, some really highs. Highs. I like the first two levels are really fun. Next three levels are kind of chill. And the finale is pretty bad, but it's still enjoyable. Hmm. Okay, you know, I'm gonna put dead. I'm gonna put dead air above hard rain. I feel like dead air has more enjoyment than both of these two. Then dead center. I'm gonna put dead center at a solid eight. I think it's. Uh, I'm gonna put it right behind swamp fever. Dead center is a classic. I really love most of it. The only part of dead center I'm not a huge fan of is probably the mall part. The third level. The first two levels are tons of fun. The second level with the, the gun shop is probably one of my favorite levels in all of Left 4 Dead. I still think Swamp, Swamp Fever is overall more enjoyed. There's no level in Swamp Fever that I don't really enjoy. Versus Dead Center, I really don't enjoy the mall section too much. Um, a lot of the times my team would just like give up or just get kind of bored at that part, especially if we lose a few times. Death Toll. Death Toll is a very good campaign. I'm gonna put this probably above Dead Center and Blood. This this I'm really trying to think here. What a Blood Harvest is a good campaign, but yeah, I'm gonna put Death Toll here. 
Death Toll is a very fun campaign. I think the first level isn't too fun. I like the finale. I like the town section and the graveyard section. That's a lot of fun. I still think Swamp Fever is overall more enjoyable, so I'm going to put it as a high E tier. Then we have the Sacrifice. The Sacrifice, I would probably give a C, yeah, C tier. I just find it really boring. Again, it's very, the, the color scheme of it. Visually, I think it's very boring. The maps aren't too interesting. I just overall don't really enjoy this campaign too much. I just don't, I, I just don't have very much fun with it. It's better than Crash Course. At least it's a, you know, you can have some fun with it versus Crash Course. This one is gonna be very hard to judge. Obviously, the Parish is an S tier. Very, very fun. It can be kind of long sometimes. Definitely one of the longest campaigns, I would say. I still think Dark Carnival is probably better than the Parish. These three right here are probably the best campaigns in all of Left 4 Dead. You can't really go wrong with either three of these. I'm not sure if, I'm gonna put it above No Mercy, just because I have a bit of a bias when it comes to the Left 4 Dead 2 campaigns. I think they're more interesting. They're more vibrant and they're not as like, gray and monochromatic and not as you know lively as these as the left 4 dead campaign left 4 dead 2 campaigns are so after editing this there was actually one map that is missing um the last stand was not in this tier list but it doesn't really matter because i probably would put last stand at d tier anyways d or c tier it's not fun that's really all i can say so yeah that's how i would rank the maps so dark carnival the parish no mercy all s tier maps are very the best Left 4 Dead maps, I would say. Then we have A tier, which is Swamp Fever, a ton of fun. Death Toll is a lot of fun. Dead Center is mostly fun. It has some boring parts. Blood Harvest is very decent. It's very fun. Um, I think I have more of a bias when it comes to Dead Center, just because I really like the, the second level. A lot of good memories with Dead Center. Even though it gets kind of replayed a lot, I still think it's a lot of fun. Dead Air, um, it's fun, but there's a lot of sections I find kind of boring with it, especially the finale. Hard Rain, first few levels are fun, then after that it's kind of it goes downhill. It gets kind of boring after the second level. Then the passing, I like the first level to the passing. I like part of the second level and I think the finale is pretty fun. Yeah, so I think it's a solid B tier. It's not amazing, it's just okay. It, it's a decent campaign, but... Then we have Coldstream, that's a very solid C tier campaign. It's fun every now and then, but I feel like it gets boring pretty fast. Um, it's more of like a map I choose when I want to change the pace kind of map. Sacrifice I find to be one of the least enjoyable maps. And then Crash Course, I would just say is an awful map. <laughs> there's, there's, there's very little redeeming qualities of Crash Course. Yeah, that's what I would rank all of the Left 4 Dead 1 and Left 4 Dead 2 campaigns. If you have, you know, different opinions on the campaigns, make sure you leave down in the comments and what your tier list would be like. That's just my um, opinion. Of course, this isn't objectively correct. This is just how I feel. But yeah, that's my opinion on the campaigns for Left 4 Dead.